my opinion, being the god of war is an honor. I feel like I was meant for warfare. Hearing the agony and pain of those individuals at the end of my fearsome blade gives me self-confidence to give, go after more action. That is quite disturbing. All right, how does it feel to be the goddess of war? Strategy, Athena. It is difficult sometimes, but very great. I love it when I get to outsmart people. And how does it feel to be the goddess of wisdom? I love it. I get to show off my smarts to all the idiots in this world. Oh, okay. Is the heat on between you and Hephaestus Aries? If you're asking if we're still aggravated with each other, then yes, we are. I mean, I'm not unhappy about the event, because if it weren't for the incident, you wouldn't have ever existed, Eros. However, that's my opinion, not Hephaestus. I cannot really speak for the man, though. But if he's still unhappy with me, I'm truly sorry if I hurt the little whiner in any way. That's great, Father. You tell him. Thought of any new war strategy for Athena? No, not yet, but I am working on it. So, you are both god and goddess of war. Do you have much in common? Hell no! She has to think out her battle strategy while I act out first, then think later. That's how you win battles and fights. Your enemy will think you're planning out your strategy, while in reality, you commence a surprise attack. No, not really. I am much better than Aries. After all, I am the goddess of wisdom. And what are your opinions of love? I'm the god of war, not the god of love. That's Aphrodite's job, not mine. However, I can't fall in love, but I can't let it control my life. I'm the kind of god who'd rather be killing on the battlefield, feeling the power and glory. I think love is ridiculous. Who needs love when you can be like me? Selfish. How were you born, Aries? Well, as you may know, my father is Zeus, while my mother is Hera, both of which were one of the eight original children of the mighty Titan Kronos. You see, my mother was je rather jealous of my father, who was able to conceive a child, Danius, by putting the child into his thigh after the mother died. Still, my mother took a magical herb that allowed her to have a child immaculately, and this child was me. <coughs> and you, Athena? Well, my father Zeus married my mother Venus. When my mother became pregnant, father was warned by her that a son born to me would kill over children. Father then swallowed Mother Ellie, then born out of Father's forehead. That's great. How do you feel about humans? They're weak and arrogant. They can't fight their own fights. They're space wasters. They take up space and air and not more than time on these wasters. And what about the unknown, the Aphrodite? She's hot and spicy. Oh, God, that's gross. How do you feel about the words under God and the Pledge of Allegiance? It sh I think it should be under God. Um, what about goddesses? Why does it have to be a man? There isn't just one god either. There's a lot. It should be under gods and goddesses. What about gun rights? Guns are for puny humans. If you can't, if you can use a fearsome blade like a boss, then you shouldn't need no sort of firearm. A true warrior uses strategy when you're shooting. Very true, very true. 